against the three what, dog? <laughs> Hoopa, summon a Pokemon to crush this fool. Oh, yo, what is going on at YouTube? It's your boy, Dan, AKA Drop, bringing you guys some more Pokemon Unbound. It is, uh, it is about to go down. I don't know what to tell you, man. We got wrecked on the last couple episodes. I'm still standing, but barely. You can see the shell of what was a team previously as we, uh, we're gonna just try to survive today is what we're gonna do. I, I have surf, but I can't surf, that's right. We're gonna try to survive today. I don't know how it's gonna go, but we're just gonna do our best. Maybe I get super lucky and the next gym is water type and I can beat it with, you know, all the grass Pokemon that I have. I have no idea. But like the video if you guys are enjoying the series. I'm doing this live with the homies on Twitch. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If we lose this run, it's fine. We're gonna do it again. So have no fear. Otherwise, big shouts to all the A-Drop Army Plus members. Y'all are the real ones. Thanks for supporting over there. Anyway, let's see what we got going on. Oh, there's a legendary. I don't know. This is a new town. Dahara City. Oh, Galavan. He's handsome and strong. He's a genius at machines. That, that's all you tell me? So there is a new gym here. So this is where things probably come to an end is this gym. Oh really? Oh, you can buy Link Stones. I've been streaming for, you know, eight years. Oh God, didn't expect a battle. This is an easy one though. Focus Blast, Cyber Beam, Explosion, Jiggy Impact. God, that's terrible. <laughs> here we go. This is it. This is, this is where we get the good stuff. Nope. Oh, is there a game corner? Wait a minute. I got, the okay. I can get a static game corner encounter. You can get ability capsules. Oh, it's Jax. I was waiting for you. I saw a bunch of shadow grunts heading west towards the runes of void. According to grandpa, the only reason for them to go there is if they've gotten everything they needed to perform the unbinding. You know, the ritual needed to release the dark force, but it shouldn't be possible without Zapdos. That's why grandpa thinks they're gonna try the unbinding anyway and hope the incomplete ritual is enough for their purposes. This is our chance to head over there too and steal back Articuno and Moltres. It's perfect. They'll be the only ones at the runes, so we won't have to worry about them turning innocent people into those monsters. But before I do that, you ought to get Dahara City's gym badge. You'll need it to serve to the ruins with me. So we're gonna take on the gym anyway. Oh God, Hoopa just showed up. What the? A drive, look out. Bro, I wasn't ready for this. Bro, I just lost. I just lost. All of a sudden a strange ring appeared and we just got sucked here. I wasn't even, I didn't even know I was talking to him in the game corner. I was just talking to random people. Understood, this is where you must make your stand. For the sake of the unbinding, those two who must not be allowed in there, demonstrate to them the power of the light of ruin. Straptor, no! That blast had destroyed the staircase and Straptor was, Straptor was, ah, sorry. I'm finding it hard to stay focused. Wait, I think that blast uncovered an entrance into the ruins. You should go in there and find a way to the top. I only brought Straptor with me so I could be with you. I'll stay here and heal up your Pokemon if you want. We got new encounters. I'm gonna see. Ruins of Void. Okay, let me get my Ruins of Void encounter. I got a Yamask. Not bad. That's a good mon. It's a good mon. The comeback starts right now. The comeback starts right now. This is the Ruins of Void. This is Ruins of Void. It's all considered the same thing. Apparently I can fly out of here. Oh, I can. Can I just come back here later? Oh, I'm gonna have to surf all the way back here. Talk to the Abra? Return to Dahara City, yes. Oh, the Abra, oh, and then you can just take the port from the Pokemon Center. That's actually clean, okay, good. What Pokemon do you have? Yes! Okay, so I get one of these. I get one of them. That's tough, dog. Fracture is not the answer. I think it's Klefki, because I need to get through this next battle, and it gives me a Fairy and a Steel type, which is just really good. Like, that gives me something really, really good, right? It gives me something that can take hits really well, can status, it can set up screens. I feel like Klefki's the answer. Cause I can't evolve Porygon. I can't get a Haxorus yet. And I need to get through this next gym, which I don't even know what it is. Let me go see what the next gym is. Maybe that's helpful. Yeah, I mean, get listen, I love me some, uh, you know, I love me some some evolutions. You guys know that, but I feel like Klefki is is solid, guys. I think I grab it now anyway. I think I, think I take Klefki. I really do. I think I take Klefki. The other option would be like the Umbreon strat or I can get one of the evolutions. I don't feel like any of them are all that crazy, but I don't think Umbreon's the answer. I think it's Klefki. My gut is telling me Klefki. I've taken Klefki. That's my decision. Okay, so I'm gonna move Smugleaf off the team and I'm actually gonna add Configurigus to the team. And then I'm going to move Delibird off the team 
and I'm gonna add Klefki to the team. It's your boy Jangle Jangle. You seem like a strong trainer. How would you like? To oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I wish I knew this because it might have changed my decision making a little bit. I obviously take Piffle up here. Um, I may have chosen slightly differently if I knew, but that's okay. I got a Piffle up. Okay, so I'm actually gonna make another change then. Um, I think I take Wishy off the team then. And we rock Pipple up. There's actually like, I feel like our team got drastically better in, in just the beginning of this episode. So if there's any, like I just got three super solid Pokemon that I think actually are usable right now, right? Like Empoleon, Klefki, Kofagrigus, very solid. Rift Cave it is, let's get an encounter. All right, give me something good, please. That's a dupe, that's a dupe, that's a dupe. Honestly, I don't know what it is about the fact that I'm getting three steel types today, but I'll take it. I don't know what's what's in Rift Cave. It's just like, is this, this just is a bunch of the same? I feel like this is like a secret that I don't know. So I'll just take my encounter and be happy with it. Um, now I get to fish for an encounter here. So let's fish up. Yeah, a scissor sounds good. Poliwag! I mean, I'll take it. Politoed's cool. I could have Drizzle Politoed. Razor Fang, Razor Claw. That's what I have. I don't have the King's Rock. Okay, uh, I think that's what it's gonna be. I think I got the encounters I'm gonna get. Let's YOLO and hope for the best, my friends. The Ruins of Void. I mean, this is, this is it. I either get wrecked here or I don't get wrecked here. I'm not sure. Oh, random clay doll. You so seek passage to the heart of the Temple of Void. Prove your worth against the guardian of this sacred ground. Do I just battle a clay doll? I guess so. Oh God, he has boosts. He stored power. I might get hit with a ground move, but I should be able to KO him with Surf. Body press. Uh, you who now possess the right of passage, your next trial awaits further within these halls. All right. Uh-oh. Adrive is attempting to make his way up here through the ruins. No matter, by the time Adrive ascends, Zeph will be wait ready for the unbinding. However, ready the arise, I will require you to stall Adrive for as long as possible. Yes, sir. If I did not need you, Hoopa, I would throw your Pokeball right back into the ocean for all the trouble you have caused. It's a sliding tile puzzle, oh God. The image must be recreated. Okay, let me take a picture of it. Oh God, you gotta slide it? Oh man, the slide ones are brutal. I've already, I've already, I'm changing puzzle difficulty. Bro, I'm not sitting here doing this puzzle. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That's a little bit better. Right, listen, I'm not doing a slide puzzle right now. It's not happening. Open sesame. You've already solved the puzzle. Oh, I know. I'm so scared. I'm so scared of what's ahead. I'm so scared of what's ahead. Clay dolls out there just banging open doors for me. Thank you, Clay Doll. Oh my God. Guys, this is gonna be so hard. Whatever's next. Oh, there's a Zygarde. Oh goodness. I feel like this is for all the marbles. I've got a bad feeling about that Clay Doll. What's up, Comical? Thank you, Educated. What the? You who seek to violate these sacred grounds, demonstrate your worth or be smote by my judgment. This Pokemon wants to fight? We handle Shadow Warriors on the daily. One normal Pokemon's nothing to us. Let's take it down. Yo, Claydol putting in work. Who, you who lack the rights, be gone from this place, lest ye be cast into the void. Yo, did Claydol just save the day? Oh, I found his Staraptor. It's Jax's Staraptor. Hey, Drive. Thank goodness, it looks like Staraptor will make a full recovery. Thanks for finding Staraptor for me. I'm sorry. I had to rely on you yet again. Never mind me. Anyway, great job on getting up this far. There's a lot of suspense building right now. Oh. You who would enter the heart of the Temple of Void against the three, demonstrate your strength of body and soul. Against the three, the three what? Against the three what, dog? Dog, 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 dog. You gaze into the portal. Pokemon are attempting to cross through from the other side. Are you ready to face them? Once the battles begin, there's no chance to recover. Oh, I'm doomed. All right, let's see what they are. Oh, it's Raikou. Okay. I don't exactly have the best team for Raikou. I'm gonna click light screen and see what he does. He thunderbolts. 
I have lefties. Okay, what's my best Raikou answer? Probably one up, put him to sleep, and then punching him a bunch. He has hidden power, I'm dead. No, please don't be hidden power. Please don't be ice. Oh, I live, I live, I live. Okay, I think I go bullet seed. Oh my God, please tell me I can beat him. Yes, okay. The problem is I can't use him on the next one though. Like I don't, like I'm weakened now and I'm, I'm gonna be weak for the next dog. Give me Suiku next, please. It's Entei next, that's like the worst one for me. Entei actually kind of wrecks my face. I'm not even gonna lie, dude. Entei kind of wrecks my face. What, what kind of boot boost does he get? He gets an aura, his speed boost. Okay, I think I go Mohawk. I'm gonna take a massive attack to the face, but I have to hope I can live it and get Intimidate off. Sacred Fire, okay, hopefully no crits and I can live because I, I give him Intimidate. Uh, okay, now I think I go King Tut. I have Rocky Helmet, I'm bold, I'm really bulky. Maybe King Tut can come in here and put in some work. And then from there, I have Goro to potentially try to beat him. No burn, which is kind of crazy. I'm gonna protect, and then I'm gonna Shadow Ball. A burn is actually annoying. Part of me wants to go Machamp and just get burned. I'm gonna protect again, trying to stall out of Sacred Fires. He Stone Edges, he might be out of Sacred Fires. Which actually might be good for me. I get a special defense drop, he has a Citrus Berry. I think the play is I go Goro here, cause it seems like that's his play now. And then I think now I go for low sweep. He has Iron Head too. I get flinched. I think now, maybe I do actually keep him healthy and go King Tut. The Iron Heads will take Rocky Helmet. I'm just at the mercy of a potential flinch now. I'm gonna protect. I just am taking too much damage on my Pokemon right now. I don't get flinched this time. And I almost KO him. He's gonna Iron Head again. I think I go King Tut and just take the Iron Head. And then I'll knock him out to Rocky Helmet. No flinch, okay. Or no crit, rather. All right, that's Dog 2 down. And now I've gotta get Suicune. Which I might be okay against. If he's not Calm Mind, I'm gonna Light Screen. If he's Calm Mind, I'm, I'm in so much trouble, right? He's Scald, that's fine. I'm gonna Drain Kiss, see what he does. Air Slash. Drain Kiss is good, Drain Kiss. Now I think I go Tux and just start Grass Knotting. That's pretty good. Oh, he has Mirror Coat! Of all things for him to have, he has Mirror Coat! I think I still click Grass Knot. Can I live a Scald? I'm specially defensive. I can, no burn, no burn, no burn. Yes, oh my God, he was Mirror Coat Suicune and I almost lost Tux. Oh my gosh, my heart. Okay, we beat the three dogs. You who now possess the rite of passage with fortified body and righteous soul, step forth. Thanks, Clay Doll. I can get Light Clay. What would the Light Clay be on? There is, Ball Toy. I feel like Ball Toy holds Light Clay, does it? Oh, it has it, this one has it, this one has it. Let's go, I think that was it. Was that it? Get it, dude. It's time, the turnaround begins, I told y'all. You have to believe. I now have a Klefki with light clay. Which means I have eight turns of screens? So that can that can give me a lot of time in a battle. Oh, I'm here. I'm, I'm, ha I'm, I'm here, it's time. Whatever is about to go down, it's, it's happening right now, because I'm up here. That clay doll may have knocked us down before, but we're not going to let you through without a fight. We can't let the unbinding be disrupted. All right, <sighs> I think I think this guy just clicked light screen. He shadow claws, of course. I don't think this is that big of a threat though. I think Goro just comes in and just knock offs. And then I just knock off again like that. I don't think that's a big threat. Sableye, same kind of thing. I just click knock off. He shadow claws, I think I knock off again. Okay, that was not that big of a threat. A drive has more important things to do than deal with you. If you want to take someone on, why don't you try me for a size? I don't know, it's possible, but the way these guys have been talking, the shadows must have captured Zapdos. I'll take care of these goons. In the meantime, you gotta stop the shadows from carrying out their unbinding. Hurry, there's no time left. He comes after I already battle one of the guys. Like, I already softened him up for you. Gotcha, you seriously never learn, kid. Get moving, you're gonna wanna see this. All preparations have been completed, Zef. You can proceed with the unbinding when ready. Thank you, Ivory. Just one last thing before we get started. Marlin, where is he exactly? I'm sorry, Zef, we still don't know where he is. According to the Grunt, who delivering Zapdos to us, Marlin's off dealing with him, uh, some unofficial business. The Grunt said he wouldn't clarify any further, and I haven't heard from him either. Hmm, he has been rather on edge lately. I hope he hasn't gotten cold feet now of all times. I would hate for him to miss everything we've worked so hard for. 
But either way, with or without him, the unbinding must proceed. Finally, the time has come to make our dream a reality. Once the Dark Force is unbound, I shall use its power to undo the tragedies of all those years ago. And then, at long last, his smile will finally return to me. The Keeper of Storms, Zapdos, come forth. The Sacred Flame, Moltres, come forth. The Disciple of Ice, Articuno, come forth. With these three legendary birds assembled here alongside the prison stone, the seal can be broken. One with the shadows, one with the night, a dark hole traced by a ring of fury. With keys of ice, fire, and lightning, let the sealed force no longer be caged. At last, the bottle. With this, the dark force is mine to command. What? Nothing is happening. Why? The bottle is open. <laughs> you. Who do you think you are? Have you tampered with the Unbinding? Answer me! Who, me? The name is Aklov. I'm just a lowly grunt among the shadows, nothing more. Answer my question, grunt. What have you done? What have I done? Nothing. The ritual itself went completely interrupted. In fact, I commend you on almost flawless execution. However, there's a key component you were missing. Missing? And what exactly would that be? In order to release the Dark Force from the prison bottle, naturally, there needs to be somewhere for that power to go. To be exact, you need the Pokemon that used to house the Dark Force. Something I noticed you're sorely lacking. Of course, you would have known that had I not deleted that little detail from your files. Honestly, I'd hoped to manipulate you by infiltrating your organization, but I'm almost disappointed. It was laughably easy. And now you have played right into my hands and released the prison bottle for me. All that is left is for you to step aside. How shall I finish the unbinding myself? What? How dare you make a fool of me? You will pay for this insult. Houndoom! Teach this fool a lesson! Oh, he's gonna have the Hoopa unbound. Hoopa, remove the threat! I'm gonna have to battle a Hoopa. Impossible! Houndoom was that portal! So it was you who brought A-Drive into our base. Actually, that was Hoopa acting of its own accord. It knew we were about to begin the process of releasing its power, so in a futile act of desperation, it summoned A-Drive to rescue it from me. For you see, for reasons I cannot fathom, it is A-Drive, not I, that Hoopa prefers as its trainer. And so naturally, I want to see A-Drive eliminated. Once he is gone, Hoopa will have to accept me as his true trainer. Only then will I accept the true power, capable of moving entire land masses. I concede. I cannot hope to fight a Pokemon like that. That is a wise decision. Now stand aside. I'm sorry, Ivory. I couldn't finish what we started, but this is not the end. We will find another way to bring them back. And now, let the main event begin! Hoopa! The time has come! Your true power is about to release from the prison bottle. And as your trainer, I am fully capable of controlling it. Ah! At last, I have waited so long for this moment. Hoopa, the seal on your power has finally been broken. Hoo, hoo, hoo! Aklov, tell me, what's the reason could you have done any of this? If we share a common goal, perhaps we can work together. Fool, our goals are inevitably at odds. I am a descendant of the so-called foreign king from the Great War. My goal is simply to finish what he started and win the war. With Hoopa's power now unbound, I will bring the weapon he created and use it to rain fire and destruction across Boreas. Then, finally, his suffering can be at its end. Now tell me, Zeph, what were your goals? My goals? There was only one. One I always kept at the forefront of my mind. It was to see him again, my little boy. Ah, what a waste. Such a great power for such a meager wish. You lack ambition, Zeph. I... Enough of this! Remove yourself from my presence. The shadows are finished. It is time for Boreas to see the light. The light of ruin. But first, I see that our guest of honor has decided to join us. Grunts, bring him to me! My Grunts. It's truly surprising, Zeph. You and I both know that you're not the ultimate authority here. I've gone above you. I have spoken with Faye. And she has agreed that as long as I provide her with a small sample of Hoopa's power to study, I'll be granted control over Shadow Branch to do as I please. But this is... This is my organization! I founded the company, and this branch was allowed to exist because I approved it. I may have retired and handed over the reins, but that does not mean I can simply be replaced. She and I had a deal. A deal which, need I remind you, you transgress, Zeph. And no one is replaceable, irreplaceable in an organization, not even you. But enough of this. Nothing you can say will change the outcome of these events. And now, A-Drive, I can finally have the satisfaction of eliminating you once and for all. You have been a repeated nuisance to the shadows, and I cannot have you becoming a nuisance to me as well. Hoopa, 
Summon a Pokemon to crush this fool. Oh! Ho oh! Ho oh, no! <sighs> oh, and it's a Dynamax ho oh, oh. Okay, I just lose. He gets an attack boost and a defense boost. Okay. Um, I mean, I just die, right? So to me, the play here is I just click reflect and lose jingle, I think is the play. My whole team gets kind of wrecked by this guy. Um, I don't really have a ton of options, so I think the play is to just click reflect and just, you know, kind of say jingle's going down. Uh, he actually earthquakes. I don't think I live. Okay, jingle actually lives in earthquake, okay. I'm gonna make some notes. That's one turn to reflect. I'm gonna keep keep track here. Thank you, Shadow. And we saw EQ. I'm just gonna keep some notes here. I'm gonna go Mohawk and hope he EQs again. I don't know if he will, but it gives me an Intimidate and at least gives me something to lower his attack. And maybe I can get some shenanigans going here to keep me in this fight. Here's a Brave Bird. So I see Brave Bird EQ. I probably live. Yep. And we see Brave Bird EQ. He probably has Sacred Fire. Again, I don't really have switch-ins. I think I saved Mohawk for one more time just because I do think that there's some value here where I can use him to come back in and um, you know potentially take a Brave Bird or uh, get another Intimidate off. Seems like the, uh, the best option here. Here comes Brave Bird again. Okay, we take that pretty well. I don't think Rocky Helmet actually worked, did it? He goes for Brave Bird again, okay. I don't think he's taking Rocky Helmet here. Oh, he is. No, he's not. He doesn't take Rocky Helmet. That was a crit? Oh, it took away a shield. I think I have to sack off Mohawk, actually, and just get another Intimidate off here. Although, he's doing too much damage for me. I gotta do it. I gotta get another Intimidate off. Maybe I live, but I doubt it. I do actually live, okay. Maybe I go Tux now. Tux is specially defensive, though. And save King Tut for later. Okay, I need to start getting rid of some of these shields. He does have Earthquake, obviously. The Reflect is gone. I'm gonna predict the Earthquake again, go Mohawk, get another Intimidate, and then go Tux on the Brave Bird, go Mohawk on the Intimidate, go Tux on the Brave Bird, go Mohawk on the Intimidate, go Tux on the Brave Bird. And just one more time for good measure. And back to Tux. Okay. Not gonna feel bad about it. Did I just big brain this? Don't you dare crit me. Did I just big brain this? I think I did. Wow, thumbs up. <laughs> We're still in it. <laughs> All righty then. Wow, okay. I hope I get healed. He's gonna open another portal and I'm not gonna get healed, am I? Summon another Hoopa. Yeah, I, that's, that's where this is really dumb, right? Because now I have to face a Lugia and I can't heal. Yeah, that that to me is just next level stupid. Th that to me is like, how do you even do that? Um, and now I think we definitely lose. I'll, I'll light screen, he has Earthquake. Now, now it's over, right? Like that was fun until it's not because now it's just, there's not a whole lot I can do. He has Earthquake, he probably has like Aeroblast. I just lost Clef Key. I do have screens up. Part of me feels like maybe I see if he doesn't have Arrow Blast and I go one up here or I go Goro. I'll go Goro and knock off. He has Air Slash. Okay, so I'm dead. I flinch too, because why wouldn't I? I get that, I need him to miss. He actually, I get kind of lucky uh, there that he earthquakes me. The good news, I mean, I have some stuff in my PC, but I don't know if I have enough to like come back and try to fight this again and like beat it. I wonder if double hit hits both, dual wing beat, it does. So he's gone too. Is Earthquake, the problem is I think Air Slash is gonna KO one up, right? I think I try it anyway. Maybe I get a Spore off. That's gonna KO, yeah, it, this is over. Um, he Earthquakes, KOs. I don't, King Tut's physical, so. A oh, Willow, he actually toxics me. Maybe I get super lucky with a Hex. I actually get flinched. Yeah, dude, that was dumb. Not really much I can do there, unfortunately. I can try to see what's in my PC and see if there's a way to beat this with what I have left. All right, so like I said, I don't I don't think this is gonna work, but it's, it's what we got, you know what I mean? It is what it is. 
So let's uh, tell him. Oh, it just teleports me to the top of the ruins. That's actually very convenient that it br brought me back here instead of at the beginning of the ruins. Well, wishy-washy, we're rooting for you. So if I get through this fight, that's, that's gonna be impressive. I would really like to get to the gym leader so I could at least see what the gym leader has. So next round I'll have a better chance, but. All right, attempt number two. Please break all the barriers, little guy. Beat up. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked. Didn't work, dude. I was hoping, man. Didn't work, guys. <sighs> Sacred fires. That's it. That's the run, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I can't. E I can't even put him to sleep, dude. I can't even put him to sleep, dude. Wish you got this, buddy. It all comes down to Zydoge. I dodged. That's game. All right, that's the run. Uh, we can no longer continue. I do not have a box to try to do this. This is my box. There's no way I win with a saws buck and uh, all the other things. So uh, attempt number three ends at four badges, 39 deaths, and uh, a partridge and a pear tree, I guess. So that's that. Uh, attempt four will be the same strategy, same rule set, but now I'm going to allow egg moves. So I'm going to add um, an extra, an extra, whatchamacallit, like thing every time. So we'll add egg moves for the next one. And then uh, I don't know what we do after there. So yeah, we'll do some egg moves next time, which should make things a little easier at the beginning. And then we'll go from there. So thanks for watching Pokemon Unbound. And uh, we'll be back when we're back, I guess, when we reinvigorate this. I don't know, maybe right afterwards, maybe, I don't know what we're gonna do. So, those who said sandbox mode was easy, you were wrong. Thanks for watching! We're gonna keep going. Now, I'm not giving up on the run. We're just gonna have to uh, start over and hopefully have some more luck, I guess. So, that's that.